so that I know which is which. So I'll just take a little bit of Sharpie, put a little bit of red here. So the left side in camera is the positive. Now I can pull this resistor off and put that to the side. I can go in here and trim. I do want as much length as possible. If you don't have a regular scissors, oh, you know what? You should not be doing this with power. You probably just saw a flicker happen. And that is because I crossed the power cables. And in some situations, that can be exceptionally bad. In this case, that's what killed this particular LED. Trimmed. So now we'll take this LED and trim the legs off of this one. Or at least trim them down. Uh, this should work out really nicely, I think. So I'm just going to place it right on top, real gentle-like. Get it good and straight as possible. I've got the soldering iron all warmed up. Now I'm going to hope that I don't kick those legs out of position too much. And that's completely kicked out of position way too much. Let's see if I can move that around. Nice thing about a solder joint is that it's good and solid usually. Now normally you don't need to blob a lot on there, but I'm kind of sloppy about it. And it gets the job done. So that seems to be in there pretty solid. Let's power this back up. And it's not working. Interesting. Alright, so <clears throat> that presents its own sorts of problems. Unexpected problems. Another thing you should not do is solder electronics that are turned on. The soldering iron has its own power going on and you can short out a system. However, since I'm just dealing with some LEDs here, I'm not too worried about it. And because this did not fix the problem, what I'm going to do is rip the whole thing out. It's too bad. I was hoping to keep this simple. But sometimes you just can't do that. But this will make the whole situation just a little cleaner than it would have been had I left it this way. It would have been nice if it worked out like that. Ah, and this could be why. So you see this solder joint here? This is above the resistor. So all the power going through here just went straight to that LED and probably killed it without even uh, saying, how do you do? In fact, that's just about a guarantee of what happened. So let's clean this up a little. The resistor should still be good, but I'm going to pull that out of there anyway. So let's trim this one. You'll notice that cut the power to everywhere. Let's trim that one. And just use your fingernail to pull a little bit of wire off of there, or uh, insulation rather. And tie these two together. You'll see that power is restored to everywhere. And that's because this negative leg is what's powering that. So, we'll now take this resistor and 
wire this in. Let's see how this is going to fit first of all. Normally what I'll do with the resistors is just wrap them around the leg and leave as much leg exposed as possible. It's not exactly the way it should be done and it's definitely not a best uh, procedure or habit to develop. So what you do is once you got your resistor in, trim the old leg off. And you could get this right up top there to make it really nice and tight, but again, that's up to you and how uh, methodically clean or sloppy you are. So soldering this, these two legs together could be a little bit of a trick. Let's see how neatly I can do this. Just lapping, wrapping the new leg around the old one. So that should give a fairly solid connection. I'll trim a little of that off. Yeah, I don't like it when I see all those lights blink like that. It's definitely not a good thing. And we got a red LED in there. We got an RGB flasher in there. So that is good that I have not soldered anything because that would have sucked. Let me go back to the bag of tricks here. Pull out a warm white LED. These are a bit more expensive than regular LEDs. Regular whites, I got 200 of them for a nickel when I bought, uh, I think a pack of a thousand off of eBay. And basically I was able to designate however many out of the thousand I wanted. So I just said I wanted 200 of this, that, and the other. And 200 of them were regular whites. Whereas these warm whites, as opposed to being a nickel each are a bit closer to 20 cents however and that includes this fluorescent green I've been talking about however they get the job done and there's no way to do what they do with anything else so let's try this again here